Archangels and Pretty Freaks, episode 156. I am Neil. I am Annalise. That cuts out really quick. Uh, well, really? I should, yeah. Okay. You know this, the song? Uh-huh. Usually it went on for a little while longer. Oh. Should you. make it go on a little longer. <laughs> I'm like, oh. The fade out. The, the, <laughs> yeah. How are you doing there, lunatic pants? Oh, wow. <laughs> I don't know if that's an upgrade or a downgrade. It's a grade. Mm. Mm, sideways? <laughs> it's a passing grade, which is good. <laughs> Thanks. Okay. <laughs> Um, good. Good. Scratch my ear. Oh, okay. Sorry about that. <laughs> and drink some beer? Uh-huh. And you're having Lagunitas. Is it, what is it? The Just the IPA. The, IPA, the regular the IPA. Yeah. They're cheap-ass IPA. <laughs> and it was on sale. <laughs> on sale. So it's new and exciting. How are you? Um, I'm good. Just still, you know, not, oh, almost said it. Almost said it. Tired? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Because it's Friday night. Should we tell the people that we're a podcast that just talks about ourselves? Yes. We just like to have fun mm-hmm. and a good time. Yep. That's what we do. That's it. We don't so do if you're into a, that sort of thing. <laughs> if you want uh, movie reviews or TV reviews we're or not gonna do it. talking about. We're not going to talk about TV shows. Batman v, v Superman. Unless you want to talk about it. ghost adventures or. Well, <laughs> or Santa Clarita diet. <laughs> then I will talk to you. Okay. What's also, that other one? Chewing gum? We just started watching, watching that. Chewing, and yeah. what's the other, like, Buffy? I'm oh, sorry to tap the table. Um, the one we just started watching, the Buffy Crazy one. Head. Crazy Head. Oh, that was good. Apparently, too. we're really into British shows now. Yes. Well, welcome to Netflix. <laughs> so, uh, All I was going to ask you how you're doing again, but you already told mm. me. So, we you're might. Tired. We've been, um, and sometimes we watch a movie on Friday nights. We might watch one tonight. tonight? We might not. Then, oh, yeah. What did you want to watch tonight? Moana. Mona. Moana. Moana. We watched Ghostbusters last Friday night. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We should review it. No. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my armpit itches. It was now. awesome. Didn't see it. <laughs> That's Neil's movie review. <laughs> so it, I think it's funny because we shoot this for YouTube. Uh-huh. I'm not exactly sure why. Well, yeah. Because anybody watch it. Well, we used to get more and then people, hi, if you're check us out. Well, we got a lot of people in the beginning that right. would watch it on YouTube because they, the pod, they didn't have a lot of podcast apps or they couldn't right. listen at work. Mm-hmm. So... Now it seems that people move, you know, onto that and don't watch. But right. it's hilarious because, like, it, for a while they were climbing, like, almost 200 views an episode, which isn't a lot, but it for right. watching two people just talk to each other. <laughs> and so now I'm like, I don't even know if it's, if it's worth doing. Just, I, I think now probably people know what we look like. And I think some of it at the beginning at least was curiosity maybe. Right. So. Yeah. And, and I also stopped brushing my hair. Yeah. Well, that, that might so be another. Like, we used to kind of dress. Nice. I mean, I'm in my PJs now. I think so, people would also do you want to keep in, doing it or should just uh, I don't know. We'll forget see. it? I used to also wear like wear my Batman onesie and stuff like that. And yeah. people would be like, oh, I got to check out the onesie. <laughs> so hmm. maybe if I wore outfits, <laughs> that's weird. Or didn't wear anything. <laughs> Either way, I just, we've entered another area of YouTube. <laughs> so the, and what's funny is I get, cause so the show goes, we put the video of this mm-hmm. on our YouTube channel. Right. And then I also, because of the way the I upload, audio. the audio goes to my personal YouTube channel because we have the Dark Angels Pretty Freaks and I have right. the, you know, the one with our like vacation videos and mm-hmm. stuff. And the ones that are just... Um, they get just as many views. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, what? I think, yeah, I, I guess it's just another way to listen. I mean, I guess we don't have to do it there's if nobody's no, really watching. Yeah, there's no point so in watching, watching us. That, I watching. just said that. What? <laughs> yeah. Unless I think when you have guests in, when we have guests in quote unquote studio. In studio. Yeah. I think then it's a little more fun to watch. For sure. Yeah. I mean, it's not a big deal to do. I was just thinking, I was looking, I'm like, what, what's well, the point? Well, I mean, point? I guess if we're not getting a lot of views on it, it's a lot of extra work. Then. Well, it's not that much extra work. Yeah. I just, so. you know. We'll see. Let we'll us have know. Four, Let us know four if you care. Four to 12 people that'll be really upset. <laughs> yeah. <videos. laughs> Those 12 people are like, mm-hmm. what the hell, man? <laughs> Although we also don't. We also don't promote the video. So if people yeah, are listening true. to us now, when we you're promote not gonna, it more, yeah. we, the people more we we'll, we'll promote it, the more people watch it. So. I don't know why we're talking about this. Yeah, on I don't the podcast. know. Hi. This is. Um, so we're. Dar- podcast, Hi, welcome to Dark Angels um, and Pretty Freaks, episode 156. <laughs> podcast where we homework just with Dark Angels and Pretty Freaks. Talk about how we podcast. <laughs> Sorry about that. Not even why we podcast. We could like talk about that later. Sorry. But just you so think you know, after- we have a YouTube channel and we're trying to consider what to do with it. There you right. go. Um, Moving on. <laughs> you would think after almost three years of podcasting, mm. we would have learned something. Three years. So We've we're going to have nothing. our. <laughs> well, as we said, the, at first, the YouTube videos are more popular than they are now. So it's, you have to make decisions as things go and progress. As I told but, Matt um, on Reasons or Several, 
think this podcasting thing has legs. <laughs> I think people can do stuff with this podcasting thing. Because you try to keep bringing up tripod. <laughs> tripod. That was funny. Matt was nice enough to tripod us. Mm-hmm. I didn't return the favor. You probably should. I probably should. And I just want you to know, Matt, that um, I never log into my own personal iTunes account, which is why I have not done a review for you guys. So I apologize. But like, I, I'm not even sure my personal login for iTunes is, to be completely honest. So. You are you are totally incorrect in the really? information you're giving Matt. I thought that, but we shared one. And so isn't no. the login no. all yours or whatever? No, we did. We, no, we'll talk about well, it I'm later. Confused. But no, that's and not some how more it pod happens. stuff, Matt. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so next week will be our three-year podcasting anniversary. Woo-hoo. Uh, we've had some people send in some audio, which we will play. Depending how many audios we get, we may um, just play it at the end, or the I don't know. No, what we might what we might do is just do like a a you shorter might have to edit. abbreviated <laughs> show, and then like play the audio. Uh-huh. Um, but depending on how many we get, we might like play the audio during, and then we can comment on the audio and do the show. So it kind of depends how many come in and how long they are, too, right. because, mm-hmm. you know, it would be hard to do an hour show and then have an hour and a half of mm-hmm. audio. We might only have, like, two minutes of audio. Yeah, you never know. We might only get, like, one thing. You we never might, know. Yeah. I might forget to pull them up. I don't know. <laughs> so three years. Thank you uh, to all the people that have already said congratulations. and Appreciate That's that. awesome. And uh, like we've said so many times, it's much easier for us because we live together and we're married right. and we can podcast whenever still the hell though, we want. And I mean, still though, we, I think three years, like I didn't realize it'd been that long. Like that's, whoa, three years of podcasting as well as we've only missed one episode. We've only skipped right, the one. the day we got married. day we got married and because, you know, we're, we're kind of busy. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> we still could have podcast. The reason we didn't wasn't because we got married. was because right. we had a bunch of people there. Right. And we didn't want to disappear them. Yeah. for another hour. Because right. we had to disappear for a little time to, you know. <laughs> what, what is it called? Consummate the, the <laughs> marriage? That is the word. So I didn't want to, you know. I mean, we were already gone for like 10 minutes. I didn't want to <laughs> add another hour onto that. They had stuff to do anyway, but yeah. So. Although there's been a couple times I've I've wanted to stop podcasting, yeah. Because I kind of true. felt I kind of felt like the podcast ran ran its course. I mean, this is this is what we do, and we talk about it, and it's like, all right, that, that's <laughs> cool. Us. There's more that's of us. enough, yeah. But there is something fun about doing it. So right. Well, also very much as we've discussed uh, privately and publicly, I guess as well. Um, it's like a date that we have with each other. And right. so I would well, I didn't want to that. stop hanging out with you. No, for sure. But we wouldn't come in here and like, you know, I, I don't know. I, we'd have to replace it with some sort of date night because this is, I mean, it's not exactly a date night, but it kind of is because we're hanging out with each other at a, for a concentrated amount of time where we focus solely on each other for the most part. Like I so, said, I was thinking it's kind of ran, <laughs> ran its course. <laughs> But we can talk about this stuff next week. So. I guess. Well, yeah. I guess we're just going to talk about – maybe we should talk about our bills and the things we <laughs> – uh, Shopping lists. Yes. Yeah. So uh, let's get into it. Let's get into what it. What do you got? You want to um, tell me something? Let me remind you of the notes that you asked me to save for oh, this crap. episode. Oh, crap. I'm not going to remember anything. I wrote them down. Go ahead. Lost Dog. Yeah, I got that. And The Derek Show. Yeah, I got both of those. Oh, I remembered. good. Good. Yeah. Nice. Very nice. Okay. Well, let me cross those notes for you off my list. <laughs> so uh, I'll tell the the lost dog story. I was at work, and I work in an area where a lot of people walk their dogs. And I came out of my little office outside, and there was this little terrier dog, like um, Benji. Mm-hmm. Uh, I forget what kind of I dog he is. Um, and the dog was just, he was maybe 25 yards away from me just staring at me, and there was nobody around. And so I'm like, is this dog, like, by himself? What's <laughs> What's going on? And he's like kind of running in circles and kind of runs over and looks in this one direction and then runs back and looks in another direction. I'm thinking, there's nobody here. What, what, what is this dog doing by himself? And he looks like he's acting like he's lost. Like right, he doesn't know what to do. I don't know if I'm <laughs> supposed to go this way or that way. And I'm like, oh, my God. So I'm totally focused on this dog. And then all of a sudden behind <clears throat> my little office building walks this lady and starts yelling the dog's name. It scared the bejesus out of me. <laughs> And so the dog runs to her, but when he's running to her, he's running back and forth, like, I'm going to go look over here. Mm-hmm. And I'm realizing the dog's just a spaz. Oh, the dog's yeah. not lost, just a spaz. But Some I was like, all, are spazzy, I was all worried so. about it. And then this, this little um, lady <laughs> started yelling in what sounded like Chinese mm-hmm. at her dog. 
Did you catch the name? Scared? No, because I couldn't. <laughs> I didn't understand any words. I just knew one of the words was its name. Right. That's but funny. It scared the bejesus. One of the many words she so, was yelling. Was not that name. fun of a story, but I thought it was hilarious because I'm like, I got all like, oh, I, like, what are you gonna do? Yeah, I'm yeah. thinking, I, I'll get the dog and I'll right. call, you know, right, the Humane Society or the SPCA. And right. No, the dog was just a spaz. <laughs> yeah. Remember that time I? Uh, or she was a spaz, and the dog yeah. wanted nothing to do with her. Maybe. One of the two. True. Take care. But you think she wouldn't walk up right behind me and start yelling? Like, walk to the side of me. Or... She was not concerned about you. <laughs> she should have been. Obviously. I could have taken her. I was quite a bit bigger. I am quite a bit you bigger. You had to go into her. kung fu mode. Watch out! Yeah, well, let's Watch not be we. racist. Well, I just, I, no, that's, that's not you know, what that's I meant. That's, <laughs> that's not what I meant. Which, can I go into something else real quick? Yes. Since you're, we're bringing up your racism. Oh, wow. Okay. So one of your friends... Mm-hmm. Got you a calendar. Yes. <laughs> um, it is a Cats in Space calendar. Cats in Space, which is hilarious. Have I, not, I don't think I ever posted a picture of that. If I didn't, no. I will. If you guys want to see it. I don't know if you guys do, but it's freaking but hilarious. The month- it's cat in poses with like outfits on and stuff yes. like that. <laughs> and most of them are pretty good. Yeah, they're so they're for so weird and random. The month of March, mm-hmm. because of March Madness, it's a basketball yes. themed, which... It's so it's a cat in space playing basketball. It doesn't right. even make sense. It does not make any sense whatsoever. However, mm, this is here's the thing. Here, the cat here it comes. <laughs> they put or they superimposed mm-hmm. an afro yeah. on the cat. Yeah. Playing basketball. It's a little racist. It's more than a little bit racist. <laughs> when we were looking at the calendar, we both saw that picture and, and we were like, like Whoa. Our initial reaction was like, Oh my oh, god. They did that. Yeah. It wasn't like we had a conversation like, does this Look, it was like we right. both were, and they didn't need to put any sort of hair on no, the cats. The cat could have just the had cats the cat playing basketball, playing basketball. <laughs> supposedly in space. Yeah, yeah it, pretty bad. A little bit racist. Pretty bad. <laughs> they could have put the the cat in like a a yeah. number twenty three jersey because then everyone would know it's like Michael Jordan, mm-hmm. you know, or whatever, or LeBron James, depending. Yeah. But yeah, it was. It's pretty bad. Yeah, it is. It it so it kind of. It's hard I'm to look at. I'm not even sure how comfortable I would feel posting that picture if anybody wants we to. Won't. I don't, I, we won't. Yeah. I'll just, we I'll won't. post a different picture to show you the nonsense of the calendar, but I will not be posting that particular picture. Yeah. <laughs> There's one other one that seems also a little bit off color, but um, I won't be yeah, posting was, that one either. Yeah, it's just bizarre. <laughs> so. so now since it's March, every time I walk into the kitchen, because we yeah. hang it on the side of the you fridge. You see that every day. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, yeah. <laughs> It's tough. <laughs> Remember when I got the calendar? I thought it was hilarious and like random. Well, candle, I think it's hilarious. Calendar is hilarious. It is hilarious. But then you see that one picture and you're like, oh. Yeah. It was <laughs> like, I don't. Um, hmm. Oh. Yeah. We'll have to maybe do something <laughs> no, yeah, about I don't that. Know. Well, I don't know. Yeah. Maybe. I don't know. I, I don't know what to do about that. <laughs> maybe it's going to be the next month already. Woo. Yeah. It'll be April for April. two months. <laughs> Super whoopsie. It's April. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Tell me anyway. what you got. Talk to me, money. Um, I today listened to. It's gonna be the day that the all of all, all 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 in all in capital y'all? letters A L L of the reasons are several podcast bonus material. Oh dear lord! All of it. Wow. I don't know what's <sighs> bonus and what isn't. Just so you know, because I don't listen. Oh, that's right. So well, my understanding from what Matt said is, okay, so let's this back is, up. This let's, is how Matt describes for, it. I wrote wait, it down. Hold on. For n- newer listeners, I am also co-hosting a show uh, with Matt that's called The Reasons or Several Podcasts, mm-hmm. which is kind of a loosely based sports and- And stuff. And stuff. Kind of- Some pop culture. Goofy, goofy news stuff. stuff. <laughs> yeah. Just, it's kind of two friends hanging out. Well, kind of like what we do. Right. Um but we don't talk about sports. No. So. <laughs> and it's it's kind of a tighter ship because Matt runs yeah. it. My, so he yeah. we, he does – and go to reasonsareseveral.com and check it out. It's, it's a fun show. Um, but So he had a Patreon page for it and then we decided let's scrap the Patreon page because it's so overplayed. Um, <laughs> and instead we're, we'll, we're going to give the bonus content away right. and, there's and the have gold a donate. Donut. There's a big old – donut button. Donut button on <laughs> yeah. there. I no, could go for a donut. Yeah, a I'll donate right button. <laughs> so if people want to donate – for the bonus content, they can if not. Right. So my understanding is that the bonus content. Oh, I'm going to tell you. Oh, okay. 
<laughs> well, I wanted to tell you what my understanding was. Then okay. you can tell me if I'm okay. right or wrong. Sure. Okay. My understanding is that bonus content, because I don't listen to mm-hmm. any show that I'm on, is um, all the sex bot stuff. Yes. Yes. All of it. So There's a lot. I listen to, I think, I don't know, I think it's maybe eight. No, ten, maybe. I don't know. Bonus episodes but they're around. they're short and they're, right well, um, one was really long one was like a half an hour okay and then the, the rest are like 15 minutes and as matt describes it it's all <laughs> sex bots shaving balls and jerking off yeah they kind of go together <laughs> this last and i was like yeah pretty much That's the last much sex bot thing like he gave me the website and mm-hmm. i checked it out it is creepy as it is... hell did you go to it no no but i've seen the real doll website before oh but um yeah yeah, creepy. You can buy different eyes for yeah, them. Yeah, and then we have we they have the labia repair kit, right? And so, and you also are supposed to like send it in to get it like professionally cleaned. If but, you know what I'm saying. Well, yeah, because it gets dirty. Yeah, well, I would hope obviously. it does. So it's the whole point um, of it. Yeah, it's pretty creepy. But um, so no, it's not th- creepy. They're <laughs> creepy. Yeah, they're they're like it's like necrophilia in a because weird they way. look dead. Yeah, they look just look like There's no dead. life people there's yeah. no life <laughs> i thought i also don't really understand the whole parts and that's matt kept the parts matt, matt, matt kept bringing up that whole like torso thing like he just kept saying it's like but it's a torso it's a it's, <laughs> it's just, just a, torso. a torso that is so it's <laughs> creepy <laughs> like it's just parts yeah but um you can yeah. get like just the butt yeah mm-hmm. which that's not as creepy to me as the whole as freaking the doll eyes. yeah <laughs> yeah well like you know those old school inflatable blow up dolls, like you know the, because it's the so joke fake. Ones? It's, yeah, 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 right. Or like the flashlight thing that this this creeped me the hell out. Although they do make flesh, as from what I understand, I'm not totally positive, but I think they make um, molds of actual porn Vagi- stars, vaginas, right? Parts. So that way you can get the what's yeah, her that's face fine. Mold that's fine. Or but whatever, that's fine. That's fine. It's not looking at me. Well, no, but you know the whose vagina about, it is. <laughs> yeah, but the weird thing about that is, like, you're not looking at it. Yeah, I guess so. You have it around your, you know, It doesn't have jug. eyes. Yeah. But this, <laughs> they yeah. stare at you. Oh, my God. <laughs> Creep me out. Anyway. I was all in until I saw it. There was a lot, of, a lot like, of sex bot talk. And uh, um, there was a couple of, uh, I, I kind of, it made me wish that I'd listened to it when they came out because I had so many, like, things to say. Like, at one point, you guys were talking about. Send um, in an email. We'll answer you. <laughs> but you guys are talking about um, the things that millennials will never know about. And you, and uh, one of them was the Nelsons. The Nelsons. And I saw the Nelsons um, maybe like a year, or like maybe, no, a couple, it was right, slightly before I met you, like a couple years before I met you, I saw them at the fair in Petaluma. Oh, the yeah. The same place I saw Joan Jett the same year we met. Yes. And... <laughs> And it was so bizarre because they have short hair now, obviously. Right. But um, I was just, I, like, so I was just in a machine room, like working. By the way, away. for people listening, Nelson was a band <laughs> from the late eighties. Yeah. And Ricky Nelson's. I thought they were his sons, and sons then but then you or, said or nephews. nephews. But I think the sons, but I don't know. Yeah. So um, anyway, so I'm like working away, and I'm like the Nelsons, and I'm like cracking up. I'm like, oh, I saw them. I'm, like talking to myself. No one else is there, of course. But <laughs> I just thought it was really funny. <laughs> it's a good show. I didn't I didn't start the show with Matt. There was another co host before I got there. Right. But the show definitely took a step up when I when I right. came okay. on. <laughs> Just and you guys just celebrated your three anniversary too. So well, right, so we're right in we're right in step with each I'm, other. We're I'm in the second. Sync. I'm the we second are wife. All in sync. I'm the second wife. So I'm kind of like we celebrate that anniversary. You know, but I didn't put the work in. I know that you guys have sort of kind of said so on the show, but Matt's wife must not listen to that show. No, <laughs> no, she doesn't. I think if she did, she would never let me talk to Matt again. Right? <laughs> they would never come visit. No. <laughs> They may not anyway, because she seems smart. So <laughs> that's too funny. Yeah, because Matt um, not even once said, hey, you know, when we talk about like we visiting him, visit, yeah, he's never I like, hey, you know, what about you. if? Yeah, never. There's a lot of hey, eyes I don't think and he no wants weave. to, because I think he know he's like, oh, you're really like this. I don't. She doesn't need that in her life. <laughs> she does not no. want to hang out with you. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. But um, my other favorite thing, I think I heard you talk about. Was Matt asked you uh, what our doing it music was? If you 
had music to do in it with. <laughs> and you actually said um, something that we've actually never done it to. But um, where, then, where, the, where do we not do it to? Um, the uh, you, like like heavy music. I don't think we've ever done that. Oh no! But in my head, it's playing. Okay, <laughs> but then you said, "Oh, well, Annalise likes," and, and that's then... not true. It's been in the background. Really? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Like when I have it playing, you know, a couple times I've had it playing, and then oh, in the house, yeah. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. Blo- anyway, I go guess on. I blocked that out. <laughs> but Great. Then, no, the music. Mm-hmm. <laughs> go on. But um, I, I will for for our listeners, mm-hmm. you can describe my style of music. Well, you listen to bands like Blonde Redhead. And I forget that – what was the band we went to go see? Portishead. You don't listen to like, man. You, those are the bands you listen yeah. to. And I like them. I'm a, Portishead, I'm yeah. a fan. But they – But yeah, but you, how you described it on the, on the show was the – Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. <laughs> and then Matt just like, what? Yeah, whoa. <laughs> but you never actually said but a, then the other day a we bad were listening, name. So that... we, we were listening on the other day on the radio mm-hmm. and that song came on and that's exactly how she sounded. <laughs> That A song came on, not from that band, but um, and I was like, it, that was almost the, a little the too French much girly. emo French for me, yeah. Um, but anyway. I like that music. It's just it is it is <laughs> kind of a little um, droning and whiny. <laughs> I mean, it would be like like oh well, I like you know Poison and Warrant, and then me saying no, they're they're it's seriously complex, high end you know musicians and amazing vocals. I know they sound like bubblegum crap, and I'm. You know, <laughs> you know that's okay. what that sounds like. But yours goes, oh, 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 oh. wow, okay. <laughs> and then, as I hmm. said in the car, <laughs> it's it's songs that your dogs can sing along to. I wish they would, but it's That'd good. Fun. It gets me in the mood. It gets me horny. <laughs> does fair enough all right. not because of the chickies just because i'm like all that pain and sorrow needs to be let out yeah relieved yes <laughs> released all right all right that's funny what was that all right what are you all turning right. my- <laughs> all right matthew yeah, that, all, right. No. <laughs> all right all right all right or is it right on right on right on which one is it all right all right all right yeah i can't do it the same so i just don't not gonna bother trying the other day i was driving to work I had my coffee. Oh. And as we know, because of my head injuries, one of the things that sometimes happens is I think I'm holding on to something and then all of a sudden I'm not. What are you doing? I'm having a, a hair situation. <laughs> I think I'm holding on to something and all of a sudden I'm not. It just falls out of my hand because my brain thinks I'm grasping. So I put the coffee in my coffee cup holders in the car, which mm-hmm. is the center console area. And well, we both drive the same car, so you know, how you like you push it in there, mm-hmm. especially with the commuter mugs you got, and they sit there, mm-hmm. it's in there tight, it's in there like, whoa, sexy time. <laughs> and I put okay. it in there, and I'm like, cool, I'm driving to work. And this was one of those days that usually I start drinking my coffee right away, which is funny because it's decaf, but mm-hmm. whatever. So I'm driving to work, and it was, I was almost halfway to work, and I'm like, oh, I'm gonna start drinking my coffee, and I reach down. And my coffee cup is laying on its side in between the two cup holders. So I'm like, what? So I pick it up and I go to drink it. There's nothing in the coffee cup, but it filled up the two cup holders. Oh, no. I, I didn't put it. I thought I shoved it in, but I guess my brain thought I did. I just set you it just on top. You just kind of put it over there? Yeah, and it, <laughs> like fell, it, over it there. fell forward. <laughs> and fortunately, it, it, the cup holders held all the liquid, but it was hilarious. I'm like, oh, my God. So I had like this little pool of coffee. So you had coffee. a mess and no coffee. <laughs> yeah. So that, that rag that's on the table that Chubbs is sleeping mm-hmm. on, that's my, that was my coffee cleanup rag. <laughs> so I was just thought, I'm like, well, but you know how like you have your morning coffee and you're excited to drink it, mm-hmm. even if it is decaf? Right. It's a super bummer when you so, don't have And it. then all of a sudden it's gone and I'm thinking, and then I got thirsty. Now I'm like, I'm actually thirsty. What now am I, gonna, I need coffee. What am I going to do? <laughs> oh, I'm I didn't get any. Nothing. Sorry about that. Yeah. I've actually made coffee. That story was so much funnier when it actually happened. And then me tell, <laughs> now I'm telling you, I'm like, so you spilled some coffee. Yeah, I guess that's all that happened. Yeah. Well, Let me go back to, whoa. <laughs> I've actually made coffee in the morning and put it like in my mug and then left it on the counter. Oh, I've done that a few times. Like, and one time I actually drove around the block and came back. I'm like, I am getting that coffee, damn it. But then I will the, say that a couple I, other times I've just left it. I, I'm don't, like, oh. I don't ever remember getting home and seeing your coffee. 
I left. think that I um, had left it in the garage once. And I think another time. I'm not saying you don't do it. No, I'm no. Just saying- I'm, and another time I had some in the fridge and I never even pulled it out to um, take. So, yeah. well, it happens. Anyway. All right. Talk to me about Derek. I was just going to say I like that show. Me too. After making the whole. It's a Ricky Gervais show, and it was really cool. And I'm, it's kind of so I read up that they that whole reason season three was one episode was because they let him come back to kind of complete some of the stories. Oh, okay. So that's why, yeah. Okay. Which I thought was really cool. No, yeah. They're like, yeah, no. I have, I have some closure. It. Yeah, yeah. Which is nice. nice. I really like that show too. I really like the um, the characters in it and everybody. I like how everybody is actually like um, likable. Yeah. Like even the drunk guy, you can't help but kind of like the the drunk obnoxious guy in it, you know? I just, yeah. yeah. If you haven't seen Derek, uh, check it out. Yeah. And if you don't like it, that's cool. But check it out anyway. <laughs> that was almost a review. <laughs> I give it four. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. We're gonna need, is that going to be our scale? <laughs> yeah. I give it a, a four out of 4.78 because there's no way that those bands have like set numbers. <laughs> No, for sure. I'm sure they all. They try really hard to be super clever. Yes. And to not. <laughs> yeah. Those bands, I will say, try too hard to be independent. Yeah. And clever. Sometimes. It's like, oh, we don't, we don't release CDs. No, there's we release butterflies. No, there's with definitely our, there's, the wings of hope come on, of our album come on, are on it. Come on. So there's some really good stuff, and then sometimes you're listening to it, and sometimes you're like, okay, we get it. You're clever. Move on. Yeah. We get it. Or it's like, <laughs> oh, we got it. It's only two musicians. Right. You don't have to add any more overdrive to the guitar. Yeah. With somebody going, Ooh. You know what I watched recently is, um, did I tell you that I saw this? Or did I show it to you? I don't know. Maybe I showed it to Jim um, at work. Um, the Black Keys mashup with um, Missy Elliott. No. Oh, I freaking love that. Yeah. If I show it to you. But oh, I love the Black if Keys. You and I me. love Missy Elliott. So those things mash together. That's a lot of love. That's freaking, that's good times right there. And we'll, there's no. We'll have to add that to the ooh. Yeah, there's no ooh <laughs> in that. We can put those together. Yeah. Great. It's a Get Your Freak On with, um, ah, oh, I can't think of it. All right. I'll look it up. Anyway, for everybody who needs to know. Yeah. Do you want to do that? No. Oh. We'll do it later. Okay. You were just touching it. So. Oh, sorry. I like touching it. <laughs> Touch it all the time. Awesome. Um, your mom. Yeah, your mom. Your what? Your mom. Your mama. Your mom. Your mom's in Argentina. Y- y- I, your mom's not. Nope. My mom is in Argentina. Argentina. <laughs> chiki chiki. Chiki chiki. She's <laughs> back in the land of chiki chiki. She's in the motherland. I don't think Trump's going to let her back in. I'm not. It's not a slight against Trump. I'm just saying with his new rules, right. she may not make it. She does have a foreign name. She's got, and she's got dual citizenship. Mm-hmm. So could say, nope, sorry, pick a side. She does look very she looks, white. She, yeah. Is that okay she, to say? Blonde, yeah. She's a, a blonde, blonde and blue eyed She's Argentinian. a blonde and blue eyed south of the border person. Yeah. They're rare. Yeah. They're like unicorns. <laughs> Oh, maybe Trump will just put her in a zoo. Wow. Be like, oh, look at that. I bet <laughs> it's you never true. seen one you of know, that. what's funny is I don't think that I've seen – I mean, I've seen your family and your um, – <sighs> Yeah, my cousin, my sister, There's the, my um, aunt, my the, uncle. Um, aunt that my has mom's blonde aunt, hair. Tia? Not Tia. But Tia also has, is light skin and oh, light hair. Oh, um, the, um, uh, Sylvia. Yes. God, yeah. Thank you. You're, you're totally like, I get, kept wanting to call her Patricia, but Patricia Patricia's has black her, hair. Her sister. But is she is Patricia dyes her hair black though? Uh, but she does have dark hair. I, I don't know if she would want us talking about this. She has dark hair. Okay. I don't know if she dyes her hair. I'm not saying she does or doesn't. I don't know. I'm just saying she has. Patricia looks like she Cleopatra. Very, yeah, she has very lovely hair. That's not yeah. what I'm saying. I just assume that she dyed it. I'm I don't just know. Saying, if she does don't or doesn't. offend the Argentinian because no, they'll she's come lovely. mafia style. She, she's, she's, she's coming to visit. She will. Sorry. That's all right. Yelling? No, we're not supposed to talk about that. Oh. Can you cut that out? <laughs> I may have to. Well, check the time. I th- I think by the time this releases, the, they will know. Okay, but thank you. Yeah. Sorry about that. Yeah. Sorry, mom. Boy. <laughs> Sorry. It's racking up points. <laughs> you are a you are the queen of secret keeping. I will say that. <laughs> well, there is stuff I don't tell you, not because I don't want to, but I know you can't not right. say. So I'm like, I better. Not well, I'm just like la 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 la, la. Yeah. and then guess what? <laughs> Anyway, Mama's in Argentina, right? And she's gonna be gone right now, crying for a long you, time. 
Because I ruined it. Yeah. <laughs> yes, Tell her not to is. listen to this episode. <laughs> Tell her not to. They, yeah. Oh, that's funny. But sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I will have to tell my mom because right there's this is one of those things that the family will actually sit around and go, let's listen to the episode because right. they'll be missing us. So I might want to tell. Right. Great. Sorry. Or you could cut it out. No, not, it. no, we don't do that. We don't edit. We don't edit. I just blew a secret. We don't edit. Yeah. <laughs> Surprise. Yeah. Oh, boy. Sorry. All right. <laughs> don't tell me stuff. <laughs> tell me. I try not to. Oh man, I don't. Want... <laughs> all right. All right. Anyway, go on. That's all I have. That's it. No, I want to talk about the front door. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what That's I want to talk I have. about? That's it. Is no. um, last week we talked about um, murder sandwich. Murder and how sandwich. We were going to have one. We did, and we did, and it was delicious. Very good. And um, I even had your your mayonnaise because we talked about how I don't have the mayonnaise part. Right. I did this time. I just did. I don't just like a little it. bit. Yeah. yeah, spread all over. Right. I did a little bit different uh, this time, but anyway. Yeah. Um, when you mix mayonnaise with garlic, it ends up looking like sperm. <laughs> and you just don't want to eat that. <laughs> it changes the color. <laughs> well, not for free. <laughs> I mean, not for fun. And it was not, it was a Saturday night. So, I mean, right. you know. <laughs> that would be terrible if that's what it tasted like. <laughs> Ugh. Mayonnaise and garlic. But um, they were yummy. Be and feeding somebody nothing but I pineapples. I was kind of hoping we were going to have like some leftover business, but we did not. So, we did. You ate it. Well, no, there was just a little bit of chicken leftover and a little bit of rice, but that was it. Like all the pita and, and stuff. hummus. Was gone. Well, the only thing gone yeah. was the hummus. I mean, I'm sorry. No. The only thing gone was the pita. And the garlic mayonnaise was gone too. And uh, so oh. um, I ate the, I had the, and it was only like a little handful of rice and a little handful of chicken. So it wouldn't be enough for like a meal. So I actually put the chicken and rice on some lettuce and just made it a salad. <laughs> you are a fan of mayonnaise. Yes. Which amazes me why when we go buy mayonnaise, you don't remember what mayonnaise you like. Yeah. Well, because I'm used to getting the regular mayonnaise, but we've switched to like the light. No, we 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 don't no, switch. I have switched to the light mayonnaise, but I can't remember which one tastes okay. So why don't you just get the regular mayonnaise? Um, I don't know. I just feel like if I can suffer through the light mayonnaise, then, well, then what's the point? Of well, I having also it? um eat it less because I don't. I would eat probably more mayonnaise if we had the regular mayonnaise. I'm amazed at how much mayonnaise we go through. I've I've I I. Well, that's because you don't like mayonnaise. Right. So why would we go through it if you don't eat it? That's what I'm saying. But it's <laughs> so, amazing. You like as it. As someone who eats mayonnaise, yeah. we go through it. But you so, like it. I do. That's weird. No, it's not. Oh. I don't nobody like, likes I mayonnaise. I don't like mustard. A lot of people when you like go mayonnaise. To the store, when you go to the store and you see the mayonnaise section, there's only like one jar. It's no, like one oh, or two jars of mayonnaise. There's like nobody, 26 brands. Nobody and they all eats have mayonnaise. Four different flavors. You they go, actually sell garlic mayonnaise pre-made like in a jar now that's probably disgusting you go to <laughs> i do like the olive oil like mayonnaise. if you go to um subway and you want a sandwich made and you ask for mayonnaise they, they're like they're like what, what? we no, don't have mayonnaise no, of course they do no they don't yes they do no. anyway we had delicious murder sandwiches and if anybody needs to With go back mayonnaise. and listen to that episode <laughs> from last week um was it last Hi, week zero or the week yep. before last okay. week and um, we know some people who live in LA. So if you ever go to <laughs> that place, title was to the platter style, platter style, um, Zanku chicken, let us know. It's delicious. We'll take pictures. We need to know. <laughs> take pictures of your food and tell us. Yeah. <laughs> take <laughs> pictures of your mayonnaise, of your warm <laughs> garlic mayonnaise. So delicious. It's, they do a, a garlic paste there, which is a little bit different, but which I, again, it ends up being garlic mayonnaise because I don't know how to recreate the garlic paste. I'll make you some paste. <laughs> mayonnaise paste. For real. Sure. No. Mm-mm. No, garlic okay. paste. For, okay. No, I thought you wanted garlic <clears throat> paste, not mayonnaise paste. Yeah. What kind of paste do you want? <laughs> okay. Oh, that should be, you can open a store just called paste. What kind of paste do you want? <laughs> I would like some cranberry ba- paste. Oh, coming There's right up. There's a magazine a tooth- slash website called paste. Oh. Already. When but. you were a kid, did you ever eat paste? Hi. I did not. So, what the? Frick is the difference between paste and glue. There's a difference. I don't know. But what is it? Oh, I don't know. Yeah. That paste tasted good. Mm, I didn't eat it. Came in the little tub with the I mean, it came right. with the spoon. It was like. No, I know. It's pretty made <laughs> it came to with eat. The, came with the dispenser. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what that. I don't I'll know what the difference is. I'll have to look that was. up. Somebody knows. Yeah. Maybe no one does. Maybe they don't. That's odd. 
I don't know. Maybe uh, that should be the name um, of the episode. Just paste. <laughs> Gross. Or moist. Moist no, paste. No, no, no. We did not say that word. I do not want to be that title of the episode. No. <laughs> there it just, is. Just no. Moist nope, paste. Nope. That's, that's our dog. Mm-hmm. What All else right. you got over there? I got this. You ready? Nope. Okay. Okay. And the weather report for today, Friday evening. It is 71 degrees outside with 78% humidity. It is clear and sunny. Well, now the sun's going down, but it was clear and sunny. Um, a light breeze of three miles an hour blowing out of the south. Inside, it's 73 degrees with 62% humidity. And the barometer is at 29.95. That is your Napa Valley, California weather report. <laughs> Say it, cha. Oh, speaking of say it, cha, Mm -hmm. child. Do it, cha. Do it, cha. Thank you for everybody sending in their weather. Really appreciate it. We've got some Australia updates and some Pittsburgh updates this week. Thank you so much. We want to thank everybody (coughs) for listening. That's really cool, and we appreciate it. So we talked about how we were going to skip Jamaica next year. Mm -hmm. And this week we booked a vacation for Jamaica for next year. (laughs) It's really, really far away, though. <laughs> yes. So, but there was there's a method to our madness. The reason we bring it up is it's we are going to Jamaica. Years away. <laughs> We're going to Jamaica this June. If anyone would like to join us or know more about it, let us know. There are other podcasters going. Some of them are getting married, mm-hmm. not to each other. <laughs> that would be oh, that would be awesome. That would though. be pretty cool too. Um, so we were we were going to wait, and then we decided um, because of changes going on at my work and the schedule is that we're going to have to take our vacations later in the year, like different yeah. September, October. And so we realized if we didn't book September, October for next year, which will be almost a year and a half after our vacation this year, we'd have to wait another full year. So it'd almost be two and a half years. Right. So we decided let's go ahead and book it and hopefully things will work out and we can go. And if not, um, we can just move it later. Right. So, um, 2018 Jamaica looks like it's <laughs> happening just later in the year. So if you'd like to spend Halloween in Jamaica with us, freaking bring it. Let us know. Do it. Cha. Do it cha. Cha, cha, cha. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> you won't hear any of that. You'll hear a lot of regular. Right. Oh, for sure. So that's all I have to say about that. Um, what else on your list? Oh, do you want to talk about tomorrow? If you tomorrow? want free dark angels and, and uh, you want free dark, stuff, let us know. Yeah, <laughs> just let us know. We'll send it free. Everything's free. Shipping's yeah. free. You're free. I'm free. We're all free for free to be me. <laughs> <laughs> I just need to be me. Go ahead. What do you got? No, I just asked. <laughs> what? I just asked you what you had and said. Oh, do you want to talk about the door tomorrow? I'm done. You're done? Are you leaving? Um, That's it. I'm done. I got to make dinner. But you had like tons of notes on there. Well, a lot of them I can't read. <laughs> um, I can't read. Talk about the door. We're putting in a new front door tomorrow. Why, why do we have to talk about a freaking remodel? Because people actually are interested. No. No. Yeah, they are. No. Yeah. No. Yes. That's my drive by. No. No. Yeah. No. People know. No. Yeah. It happens. We're putting in a new front door tomorrow. My friend is coming to help me because I freaking. <laughs> The freaking fr- <laughs> freaking front what? door is heavy, and I'm concerned about doing it by myself. I'm afraid I'm going to drop it. Well, as well as we need, we want to just make sure because it has to be able to close the door and lock it later. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> on that, a Saturday that, night. I'm more concerned about getting it in and not being able to, and it falling and breaking, mm-hmm. and then we don't have a front door. Right. So. Yeah. What, what, I don't know what the silence is. You wanted to talk about it. Go no, ahead. No, I was just telling everybody we're going to place the front door tomorrow. I think it's pretty cool. Yeah. We've got, we, picked, we picked one right out. Now. We went and picked it up. It's going to be super, yeah. super cool. Yeah, people. We'll yeah, right now pictures. everyone's like, oh, this is this is worth my time. Yeah. Well, front door. We're gonna, we're you guys want to talk pictures. about front doors? I do. We're going to take pictures of our front door. What would you like to talk about with the front Nobody door? Wants, I think people want to see our front door. Uh, I'd like to see your back door. <laughs> oh, yeah. I bet more people want to see your back door than want to see our front door. That's probably. We'll put that as a poll. <laughs> no. Up no, on Twitter. Won't. No. What would you, uh, what would you like to, to see more? No. Our front door? We're not doing that. Or Annalise's back door? <laughs> That's what you can call the episode front door. <laughs> no, it's moist paste. No, it's not. Do oh. not call it that. Oh, do you, well, then you can go ahead and do all the stuff. Come and on, you can man. Name it you, <laughs> Don't call it that. Moist? Do not. Paste. I hate that word. You hate paste? <sighs> then I'll, it'll just be called moist. <laughs> moist door. Oh, moist back door? No. No. Right. No. We'll get like, no. 
People be so disappointed if they, they think that's what they're going to get when they turn on this episode. <laughs> oh, they're going to get it. No. All right, let's do our, our favorite five. Are you doing so, it? Well, yeah, we don't have anything to talk about. We'll just do a little shorter show. It, what? Yeah. It's not, I can't I see the numbers. I can't We're tell if it's short 40 or not. minutes. Wow, 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 wow. Well, I'm sure this will take us a while anyway. <laughs> it always does. I was going to tell you something, but I can't remember because I didn't write it down. All right. Damn it. Damn it. I know more happened. Did anything fun happen this week? Nothing... No, I, I just, I was super busy at work. So I just went to work, worked a lot and came home. <laughs> yeah, it's usually how it goes. You go to work, yeah. you work a lot and you and come, come home. home. Yeah. yeah. So. That's cool. Mm-hmm. So welcome. Oh, you got nine something in the mail. Oh, we Pup did date. talk about that last week a little bit real quick. But, so you, that, but you didn't tell me. You said it was right. going to be a surprise and it was. <laughs> so I overpaid for a dog harness. <laughs> Pretty much. It's pink. It's, it's cool. Pink. It's all the rage right now here mm. in California. Mm. It's made all the by, dog people talk it? about Julius, it. Julius, the Julius Canine unit. Is it Julius Canine? It's, uh, Julius Canine. It's not. Ju- is, it's is Julius it? Dash Canine. Is that it? Huh. Um. So it there. It's a cool harness, but yeah. it's way overpriced, and <laughs> apparently a few beverage adult <laughs> beverages. And I thought it was a really good idea to get one. She likes it. It works well. <laughs> Was but, that was that some uh, drinking Groupon shopping or drinking Amazon no, shopping? No, it was. It was. I saw it at work. I because, like I said, it's the rage. And oh, so people, you saw it on someone else's dog? Oh, on a ton of dogs. Oh, okay. And then I did a little research on it. And I'm like, oh, this is really cool. Mm. These are nice. Um, and then I looked at the price, and I'm like, oh, hell no. <laughs> and then I had a, and then one a night. couple <laughs> beverages, and I'm like, you know, she deserves it. Hit the she buy button. Bye, really bye. Hard. Click, click, click. Bye, bye. So it, it <laughs> arrived and it's nice, but it's not worth the money. Yeah. Well, it's, I mean, it's going to last forever because even oh, the ones that are not made as well last a really long time. So this one we'll will see. last forever. We'll Damn see. it. <laughs> she likes it though. She looks good in it. Yeah. And it fits her in a better way that some of the other harnesses it don't is, yeah. rub but her they have, little armpits. They have a version of that harness made by a different company that's a lot less expensive that people are like, oh yeah, this one's just as good. Oh, okay. We just need it to be strong because we have big dogs. <laughs> so. Yeah. Well, she's not that strong though. She's just no, big. but she's, yeah. She's goofy. She doesn't know her own strength though, I think is part of the thing. She's, oh, I don't know about that. Yeah. Because I mean like even when we played like tug of war and stuff, she doesn't really pull on it. I'm like, no, you are way stronger than that. she's not strong. Well. Because she's she's a delicate flower. She's a princess. In she's a, world. a very gassy princess. Yes. All right. So our favorite five <laughs> is five favorite games we played as a kid. And when I say kid, I didn't put like an, an age so it can be any anything. Now, I didn't do like five favorite toys. So, mm-hmm. I mean, your list can be obvious. There's no wrong right to this. I'm, and I'm speaking to the masses, not just you. <laughs> but it's like I loved riding bikes as a kid, but that's not here. This is like games, like whether it's a board game or a game you played on the playground. And I also didn't include like organized sports, like if you signed up for Little League. So this is just stuff mm-hmm. you play with friends or family at home or at school or in between those two. But again, it can be whatever you want. Do you want to go first or do you want to go last? Um, my list is a little all over the place. But so um, I will go first. I didn't – I picked almost everything. If you go first, that means I go last. Yeah, that's fine. All I right. picked almost everything from when I was a s- smaller kid, nothing from in like teenage oh, years or anything yeah, like that. Yeah, that's what I did. Yeah, my whole idea <clears throat> was like <clears throat> middle school and younger. Right. But, um, yeah. And um, anyway, I'll just start. All right, um, go ahead. So, and I don't remember this game having a name, mm-hmm. but I used to love to play on the merry-go-round, and we used to try to make it go as fast as possible to see who would either fall off or throw up. Sure. And um, did you have metal merry-go-rounds? Yes, always metal. Yeah, and someone always, always got hurt. Oh, yeah, always. Yeah. But I... There was always that one dumb kid that wanted to reach out that, and that, stop. That, that would try to get on while it was on. And, and everyone would... Or try and to like, stop no, it. And was like, no, no, no. Yeah. Or try to stop yeah. it. And just get... Railed. Front yeah. paid. Yeah. So that never really Love happened to me, thank God. Yeah. And um, I used to hold on super tight. And for some reason, and we've... Um, I know that we've talked about this because of like um, going to um, theme parks and things like that. Mm-hmm. I don't actually really like... Roller coasters because I don't like to be in the air. I'm actually afraid of heights, and um, but I don't mind like for example the teacups 
or like the tilt a whirl at the fair or whatever mm -hmm. because I don't mind going in a circle. And I think that's like the merry go round <laughs> don't training. Mind going in a circle. Well, I, you know what I mean. Like I think that's the <laughs> merry go round training camp there. Right. Like, I was just hang on and just and I used to never get sick or whatever doing that. But yeah. I saw a kid so, merry -go -round. on the merry go round. It was going like crazy, yeah. and he was on the edge. And then his other little friend, well, our friend, but was standing <laughs> on the outside. So he reached out to grab him and clocked him right in the head. <laughs> yes, yes. Sprained Do not his, stand too close yeah. to the merry go round. Oh. Someone will reach a leg out and kick you. Yeah, it was great. Yeah. So my number five was mouse trap. Remember oh, the board right, that game? game. Yeah, trap? yeah. I know. I don't think I ever played that. It was. I it, mean, I might have played it like a friend's house, but I, I never. I don't remember had it. how to play, but I remember the fun thing was building the whole thing and then mm -hmm. watching the mouse trap go. That, did, that looked fun. I don't think that we had it. Though. But I just remember as a kid, I was like, with friends, I'm like, this is. We got mouse trap. <laughs> That's awesome. And I think we got our mouse trap from, like, either a garage sale or like a flea market. So it was all old and abused and everything, but it had all the parts. Did you? Okay. Um, you're quite. A, you're ten years older than your sister. Did you? Um, <laughs> you were gonna say the new. I'm like, no, I'm not. <laughs> no. Um, did you play games that were like her age level? When you, even though you were older, or whatever, did you play with her? Oh, with her? Yeah. 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 Oh yeah, it was whatever she. And whatever she with, wanted to play. Yeah, with her we played more like dolls and and yeah. stuff. She wasn't a big. She was never a big. From what I remember, big board game. <gasps> You know what I mean? She wasn't in a video games or anything like that. So. You know, I never had like a, a ton of Barbies or anything like that. I had a couple, you know, but I never, I was never a huge Barbie person. Right. But, um, what I, I one of my distinct memories um, of growing up, and this is, I have cool. a young, I have a younger brother, and he's six years younger than me. But I was like, in he my, was a big fan of Barbies. <laughs> he, um, in my teenage years, I remember several times us getting into arguments and me having to do the mom. Because he's, I used to always like go into the freezer to like get some ice for my Pepsi because I was super into Pepsi and I like would get one when I came home from school. And he, I would find GI Joe sticking out of the ice because he used to love to freeze the GI Joes and then like play with them that way and then like watch them melt outside and then like smash them on the ground so the ice would shatter and stuff like that but so whenever i'd go in to get some ice and you know it's really gross because not like he washes them first or whatever mm -hmm. so it's like now everything's dirty you can't use that ice obviously but like there'd just be like j joe parts like legs sticking out and like i'm like what the oh and i just don't and just to this day i just have that like vivid memory of like opening the freezer and going come on come on <laughs> no pexy for you no pepsi Always a Pepsi. But, um, and then, like, in my adult brain now is like, mom could have just, like, given him his own, like, $1 ice tray and a Ziploc bag, and he could have, like, had fun for days. Or just a metal bowl. Yeah, or something. Yeah. <laughs> but no, damn it. No. Anyway. Your mom. Yeah, my mom. All right. Oh, son of a. All right. Who's next? I, I, don't I did know. Merry Go Round, and then you did. Oh, I did Mousetrap. Mousetrap. So it's you. Okay. So, um, how did you begin on Barbies? I don't know. <laughs> All right. Um, so um, my number four is I actually had to look up the name because I just kept look, trying to call the spiral things, the spirally things. Oh. This, my, um, and it's not really a game, but yeah. we would turn no, it. it's we not. Would, it's a toy, but we it's would. It's art. Hey, we would turn it into like a game and like um, try oh, to. No. And, no, you didn't. Yes, we did. And so it's the, called the spinograph and it's those little plastic. Oh. Um, I don't know how to just how, how would you describe They're that? like little gears that little, have tiny little holes that you can put you a, set pen, a pen or pencil in, and or then whatever. it goes around a bigger gear, mm -hmm. and they're different size right. gears, and they make different. Uh, right, those things have a, a name. Right, the but that's design. what I'm saying. The brand is called Spirograph. No, no, but, no the, yeah, design the, the design. The design, right? I don't know what that's called, but um, but yeah, no. So we would like turn it into like a little game, and we would try to um, match each other's design. You know, like. So I don't know. So so like I I would do one and then I would like give it to my sister and I and and I'm like I use these two and she's like okay and then she like tried. I was like oh no it's not exactly right okay let me try again you know and so I mean just how kids yeah. entertain each other so yeah. and then after we were done with that we would take what we did and get the colored pencils and color them all in and then we throw it away because <laughs> what do you do with that I don't my know. cousins had those yeah I love those um, so much but you should have saved that for five favorite kids art projects. <laughs> is that something we're gonna do <laughs> yeah because i have those all set up too oh. and i came up with this i'm like oh okay sorry yeah. well I, I don't know 
<sighs> you must have been a blast to play games. Hey, you want to play a game? Yeah, let's draw. <laughs> what? <laughs> what are we doing? Well, we also used to go like play baseball and stuff, but I don't. Rem- I don't remember. I only really remember going a couple of times. I must have gone more, but I don't remember like going to. T- I don't know. My number four is fish, the card game. Mm. Love playing fish. I just like telling people to go fish. <laughs> I felt like I was saying something wrong. Yeah, go fish. <laughs> go fish. Yeah. You have a two? <laughs> no, fish. Yeah. I liked it. Good game. Solid game. <laughs> it is. It My is. mom used to play with me. She didn't understand the game. <laughs> We played anyway. Did she laugh and say cheeky cheeky? <laughs> she would just say fish all the time. <laughs> and you're fish, like, no, mom, fish, no. Fish. I'm like, no, mom. That's not how it works. That's funny. Yeah. That's, <laughs> That's why they funny. sent her back to Argentina. Oh, no. All right. Your mom's always a good sport, though. She'll like, she'll sit down and play with you anyway, and she doesn't know what she's doing. <laughs> What's your number three? Wait. I don't know. What's yeah, your number three? Number three. Um, clue. That's my number three, too. Really? Yeah. That's my favorite board game of all time. Yeah. It's yeah. so lame, what? but so much fun. I love it. Time. It's my Cause favorite. Because there's nothing. I mean, the whole thing is to try and figure out mm-hmm. who did it. So you really don't need to play the game. You just right. have someone put the three cards, and then you just right. kind of go. Well. Like, you're like, click, click, click. Oh, I get yeah. a and it, ask And a it's question. all a game of chance for the most part as well, because yeah. it's the roll the dice or whatever. Freaking Mr. Mustard or Captain Mustard in the study with the candlestick. <laughs> Mr. Mustard in the lead pipe in the library. It was I love good. that game. We still we uh, it's one of the only board games we still own. We do. We do here. We, it's in the garage, oh. and then we also have the Sherlock Holmes version, the uh, two twenty one B Baker Street. I know we have Monopoly. Yeah. We have Cards Against Humanity, mm-hmm. and we have Liars Dice, and we mm-hmm. have Dominoes. Yeah, we are getting after it. <laughs> All right, so I guess go into your number two. Oh, um, my number two was card games, and I wasn't sure. Well, so my number the card I was gonna I like, put down Go Fish and Concentration and um, Old Maid because I was like I, was Concentration where you put them all, face down yeah, all you do the whole look, entire deck you look yes. at one and then go right. and look at another and yes. you had to remember mm-hmm. like oh that's an eight that's a mm-hmm. four right yeah and um I'd always be like my cousins played that all the time yeah so I used to either play it by myself because people would get bored of playing with me because I was my one of my favorite games and then um or I would um. <laughs> This is hilarious. Like, I get my mom to play with me, but like she'd be in the middle of like, cooking dinner, and I would be like in the living room and I'd have it all laid. I'm like, it's your time, <laughs> and she'd be like, co- she would like run out there with like a spoon in her hand, like some sort of like spatula or something. Like, okay, okay, and she'd be like, look, and she'd go, okay. She's like, okay, and I'm like, okay, and then she'd like run back, and then I like go, Two and, I'm, seconds and then later, I'm like, it's your time. And she'd be like, oh my god. <laughs> Needless to say, she'd be like, can't can't you get your sister to play with you? I'm like, no, <laughs> but. So I just and I we play like that for a little while and then she's like, can you just play by yourself for a little bit? And I'm like, okay. Yeah. Can you do my turn? Yeah, can, can you do exactly. My turn? Can you do my turn? Yeah. Uh, do you want me to go for you? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Do you want me to go for you? <laughs> uh, are we on number two? Yeah. My number two was four square in the playground. Four square. I, I think that's what it was called. That's what we called it. So it was. It was. They had it painted on the blacktop, right? And it was four squares, mm-hmm. and you played with like the red bouncy ball. Yes. And one person was the square, and he had to like try to he had to bounce the ball in another square mm-hmm. and try to get them out. Right, I remember the squares, and I remember like see, yeah, I, but I don't remember how to play it. Yeah, That's there, what I can't remember. Rules, I don't remember how to play like, it. You had a you, you could just hit the ball. Mm-hmm. You weren't supposed to, but you could, then it was like you know you made like right. in kickball you could make rules right, like right. oh you can hold it and this and that and never worked out. When, when I just, I went, like tetherball, remember that? Lo- like, oh my god! You could hold it for three seconds. I love like tetherball. Yeah. I was really, really good at tetherball until everybody got taller than me. Yeah, if you can, if they allowed the holding of the tetherball and it wasn't just a hitting game, mm-hmm. then whoever g- grabbed it first was like, "Oh, you're done." Because you, oh yeah, 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 we we did the holding. Yeah, and I used to like jump up and like, huh! yeah. <laughs> and, but it was a very strong hitter, apparently. So, so uh, yeah, I could imagine. Um, <laughs> I love so four tetherball. square, yeah. Kickball was a close how... second, though. And what about was, the ball against the wall? Baby ball ball against the wall with the big red rubber ball, yeah. but you're like, yeah, I love that one, too. Yeah. yeah. But kickball. I baby like... bounces. I like baby bounces. Slow baby bounces. Mm-hmm. Slow baby bounces. <laughs> I don't remember that one. No, because like, the pitcher, quote mm-hmm. unquote, the pitcher, like they would have to roll it to you or give it to you how you want it. So a lot of people would just roll it, but then some people wanted like baby bounces. So by See, the, I don't remember that part. It, I just remember just rolling it. I don't remember no, so them you, getting to call out what they... And some people wanted big bounces. Mm, so you so you could kick it while it was in the air. 
I was more of a tetherball ball against the wall girl. Yeah, that was fun too. And but, then they had that game. Did they ever play the game like where they line kids up against the wall? Yes. That's just basically. That's like dodgeball. Dodgeball, like stand there and take it, dodgeball. It's half, half a team <laughs> of dodgeball. Yeah. That's right. So four square. That's awesome. Um, so my number one? I, that, my first fight was in four square. Oh, wow. Yeah. There was a bully at our school and he bullied everybody. I think this was like fourth grade. And he came in and told me I had to get out of my – he wanted my square. Like, you know, they have kids waited in line. And yeah, then got out. for your turn. And I remember I started crying and I just turned around and I hit him as hard as I could in the stomach and knocked the wind out of him. Never bothered me again. <laughs> Although I got called to the – yeah. Well, But I was happens. so scared to fight but I knew I had to do something. Right. I'm like, I'm not leaving. Mm-hmm. So I started crying. I hit him and then I ran away. Right. Ran away that's, and hid. That's – that's tip. That's like a typical response because, like, it's the, well, o- the, the overload. The overload of emotions make you cry, but like, you're I'm not leaving. I'm standing up for myself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then once he caught his breath, he started crying. Yeah. Because it hurt. I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, I caught him you totally when off guard. When you, especially when you like lose your breath, you feel like you're dying. Oh, so, I've, it's happened it's, way too many times. Yeah, it's only I, happened to me a couple of times, and I thought I was going to die. I'm never. I'm, I teared up because like, I thought I was going to die. <laughs> less scared every panicked. time it happens. Yeah. I can never get my helmet off fast enough too, because I think that's going to help me breathe. Right, it but doesn't. yeah, no. All right, so that's my number two. What's your number two? Um, riding bikes. It's not a game. You have riding bikes on your number five. No, I don't. I had mousetrap. You said riding bikes earlier, though. No, I said that's one. I said one thing I'm not going to choose is things like riding bikes oh, or skateboarding because well, it's I'm not a game. Riding bikes. What game did you – like if you play polo on your bike, no, it's not well, a game. I yeah, didn't say no, kids' we would, activities. We would, I, well, A, I like to ride around on my bike. But we'd also do like little things of like who could get to there fast enough and who could it's jump not, over the thing. Oh and like – well, that's my number one. That's fine. Oh. I do what I want. <laughs> wow, people. This is <laughs> – this is our last episode. <laughs> my number one, mm-hmm. and I can't call it what – I didn't know the name of this game was derogatory when we played it. So Uh-oh. I'm not going to call it the name. I'm going to describe what the game was. Okay. I think a lot of boys my age will know what the name is, but I had no clue that it was der- – I just thought that was the name of the game. Like I didn't put it all together. And th- is this the real name of the game or just what it was called? I don't know. Okay. But I'm not going to say what the name is. I'm going to describe the game. Either way, you're not going to say it. Okay. So there's a group of kids mm-hmm. and there's one ball and then – one kid gets the ball and runs, and all the other kids try to tackle him and take the ball away. That and, seems really dangerous. Yeah, that's <laughs> and then so so then what happens is you get tackled, and either you throw the ball or someone strips the ball away, and then that person becomes the person you try to tackle. And it's just – I mean it's a weird like hybrid football thing. You just There's just a ton of kids I chasing the ball. I don't think I've ever played that game. It was usually boys. Hmm. It's usually just a bunch of Because it's like a boys. tackle and wrestle. <laughs> yeah, it was a tackle and, and yeah. And it was everyone against one person, whoever had wow. the ball. And it could be That's any ball. Scary. You play with the basketball, football, whatever. Um, this was a close – the other one that was really close was three flies up. I don't know why we called it that. But it would be like there were pe- people in the outfield and you throw a ball. We used to use a football. You throw a football really high in the air and then once you caught three – because everyone would try to get the ball. Mm-hmm. Once you caught three, then you were the guy who or got girl throw. who got the throw. But but this game, yeah, I, I used to love playing this game. I used to love getting the ball and just not letting go. And people would be I never jumping played on the either pile. one of those games. Yeah, I'll tell you the name of it afterwards. Okay. <laughs> um, but I, but if no one else knows what this game is, then maybe we just made it up. Right. And then whoever made it up. What if there's like versions must, of that must, game yeah. or whatever? But I love that game. Mm. That's funny. Yeah. That's my number one. That's awesome. All right. All Is right. that it? That's it. All right. Let's go make some tikka masala. Darkangelsandprettyfreaks.com. Uh, thank you, everybody, for listening. There's still time to send in some questions, comments, audio clips, or just um, an email or DM us if you want to send anything for our uh, anniversary show next week. Yes. Three years. Thank you, everybody, for listening. It really means a lot to us. And if uh, anything else you'd like to contribute, please feel free to do so. Mm-hmm. Uh Dark Questions, Angels and comments. Pretty, <laughs> Dark Angels and Pretty Freaks at gmail.com or D, DAPF pod at gmail.com. Dark Angels and Pretty Freaks.com or mm-hmm. DAPF dot com. Um, we don't have the phone number right here, but it's on our website if you want to uh, leave us a uh, voicemail. It's, it's nine digits. Yeah. <laughs> or ten. We also have it's a free digits, app actually. and there's some bonus material on there if you care to check that out. Oh, we got, we're going to do some more bonus too. Yes, we are. Lots oh, of bonuses. Oh, 
I mean, you never know. All right. That's All it. right. Good night, Agent Palmer. Do you want to know the weather in Napa, California? Our cage was pretty freaks.